hey guys welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm gonna be showing you how i made this oil free brightening and smoothening face cream with shikimic acid and afra butane you definitely want to see how i made this so make sure to watch this video to the end <laughs> welcome back so in this oil free face cream or face gel recipe i'm going to first prepare my lipid face and because i won't be using any form of oils i'll just go ahead to add my emulsifiers firstly i have my emulsifying wax which is a very skin friendly wax and then i have olivin 1000 wax which is a very luxury wax and then i have acetyl alcohol which is a cold emulsifier and also will serve as a thickener these waxes i have here will help the cream emulsification i'll then prepare my water phase i measured out the distilled water i'll be using for this formulation and then i'm going to be dividing the water into two to dissolve my actives respectively in the first beaker i'll, I'll be dissolving my edta salt and my alantoin powder the edta acting as a chelating agent will help to prevent the product from going rancid and the alantoin powder acts as a moisturizing agent helps to prevent drying and irritation on the skin also helps to support the exfoliating properties of this cream also has wound healing and anti-aging properties i dissolve them both in water you have to be really patient for alantoin powder to dissolve fully i'll go ahead to dissolve my niacinamide powder niacinamide powder is also known as vitamin b3 powder and it helps to support a healthy skin barrier it actually acts by inhibiting melanosome transfers from melanocytes to keratinocytes so helping to build the protein and keratin levels of the skin it also helps to improve skin tone and aids in skin lightening and both of them actually do well on almost every skin type and niacinamide will also dissolve sparingly in cold water next i'm going to be dissolving my shikimic acid powder this powder is a recently developed skincare active that is very powerful with multifunctional capabilities it actually shows antiviral exfoliating anti-acne tightening moisturizing and even anti-dandruff activity it is actually an aha which is an alpha hydroxyl acid but then according to studies it is 50 times more powerful than glycolic acid with little or less irritation compared to glycolic acid in the same beaker with niacinamide alantoin and edta i'm going to be dissolving my alpha butane powder alpha butane is a potent skin brightener it acts by reducing tyrosine level which helps to reduce the production of melanin in the skin so it's one good ingredient in fighting hyperpigmentation reducing the appearance of dark spots pigmentation melasma and subsequently brightening to lightening the skin alpha butane dissolves rapidly in cold water so once my alpha butane is fully dissolved i'll get my lipid face with waxes already dissolved in double boiler on low heat and it's time to blend in all the ingredients and allow them to emulsify i'll first add my liquid face containing shikimic acid fully dissolved get my hand mixer ready transfer my lipid face with waxes melted and blend in almost immediately until you have an emulsification phase to make your emulsification phase more easy i will advise you to get your distilled water in three parts one to dissolve the shikimic acid powder one to dissolve afabotin niacinamide edt and alantoin and the other one to contain nothing that will be the phase that will be heated so that i can get along with the heated liquid phase if not you may struggle to get a quick and smooth emulsification you do not need to heat the parts that contains active ingredients because they do not need to be heated heating them might degrade them and you will have no function in your cream so after getting my emulsification phase like this i'll just go ahead to add my vegetable glycerin vegetable glycerin is a humectant and will help to keep the skin hydrated so after adding my vegetable glycerin i'm going to blend this in and then add my face with niacinamide alpha butane edt and alantoin and then i'm just going to blend all this together please help me take little of your time to hit the subscribe button if you have not done so i really appreciate your support also turn on your notification bell so you can always get my video whenever i upload one and please don't forget to like this video i sincerely appreciate all your support also i'm going to be adding a solvent called dimethyl isosorbide also known as dmi it's a very good penetration enhancer it helps to break down the lipids under the skin and helps a good penetration of the product into the skin and then i also have my aloe vera gel which is also a humectant it helps to improve skin 
hydration and wound healing also helps to give the soothing feel on the skin and since this is an exfoliating face cream aloe vera gel would do just good if you find it hard to stock your raw materials we actually stock the best grades of raw materials ranging from skincare hair care and personal care generally and we even sell in small quantities to enable your personal formulation we sell in bulk to enable your commercial formulations and we can ship anywhere around the world for more information please check our description box and please please patronize us also if you want to learn more about cream lotions moisturizers body butter i have a complete ebook guide that can take you through the process no matter your level whether be it a newbie intermediate and can even help you as a professional if you want to purchase it's right there on my website you can see the link in the description box so what i did to this cream was take it to the fridge and then after a few minutes i brought it back it looked this way after coming out from the refrigerator actually looked like a face gel other than a face cream and this is as a result of the formula not containing any oil i'll then check the ph of this product to make sure it's suitable for use on the face and to make sure that all the ingredients used will be very effective matching the strip of my ph paper i got five which is absolutely beautiful for this product for preservative i added gemma plus i'm sorry i guess that was caught out from the camera so after this i'll simply transfer this into my container as a face gel but it's not over yet if you don't like this face gel consistency you can also beat this and blend it into a face cream consistency now this cream can be used by all skin types and all skin complexion it will actually give you a very beautiful skin tone smoothening the skin and brightening up the skin fast if you noticed we use five percent of alpha butin in this formulation beating the regular two percent recommended usage rate that reason is discussed in my ebooks actually so let's beat it to get a cream like consistency this cream can also be used both day and night also best to use as a moisturizer after your acne treatment but ensure to use a sunscreen afterwards making this kind of high performance product especially a face cream like this is what makes your product stand out and if you do not have enough knowledge about all these things you might be doing a lot of things wrong and that's why it's essential for you to get my ebooks especially if you're making this for the public now this is the difference between the jelly look and the cream like consistency so if this video is helpful to you in any way please help me like this video support me by subscribing to this channel turn your notification bell so you can always get my videos whenever i upload them i sincerely appreciate all of you watching my videos and supporting me in one way or the other and i definitely want to see you always on this channel thank you so much and have a nice day